Hey, so your keyboard is suddenly typing quotation marks or pounds or some sort of weird symbol when you're pressing the at symbol or when you're pressing, you know, brackets or something like that. Just doesn't make sense. What's going on? And no matter what you do, you think, oh, my keyboard, I just got it new. So one of the things that is happening is that you've accidentally auto switch to the next language by pressing a shortcut and this is um, done by pressing left alt and shift so if you're just in this video and you want a quick answer press left alt and shift and it will auto switch back but if you want to figure out how this works just keep watching and I'll show you so over here I've got a keyboard on here and just some virtual keyboard and you can see notice that the at symbol or the hashtag symbol is actually pounds and the at symbol is quotation marks. So if I switch this back by pressing alt and left alt and left shift together, you'll notice that it switches back. So I'll just use my keyboard here, shift number two, you get at, and then if I press left alt and shift again, it'll, it'll switch my keyboard. In this case, it switched it to UK English. And so my two becomes a quotation mark and my hashtag becomes a pound symbol. Now this is super annoying if you just use uh, a normal keyboard, like, I mean, English keyboard. So what can we do to solve this? Let's go into language preferences. So click the start button and we're going to type language. We'll go language settings. And then you'll see language here and you're going to go to choose an input method to always use as default. This brings you to advanced keyboard settings. You're looking for language bar options down here. Click that and you'll notice that there are a couple of tabs up here. Go to advanced key settings and here you can find a culprit. Hot keys for input languages so you can switch between different ones and I've got UK English and Australian English. So I want to switch, get rid of this hot key. That's just, I don't want it. Change key sequence, select not assigned. For both of these, say OK. Click Apply OK. You can close out of this. And now, my at symbol will always be an at symbol. And when I press left, alt, and shift, it's still going to be an at symbol. So that's how you get rid of it. 